Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best bridge cameras in the market for 2021. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. Before we start, I have a question for you guys. Which camera are you using right now and what is your opinion on it? Let me know in the comments. Number 5. Panasonic Lumix FZ1000 II best for the money. Announced in February 2019, the Panasonic Lumix FZ1002 bridge camera follows on from the FZ1000 but sits below the FZ2000. Super zoom camera featuring a 1-inch 20-megapixel sensor and a 16x optical zoom lens offering an equivalent of 25-400mm, to 400 millimeters, the FZ1002 is designed to appeal to holidaying photographers who want to travel relatively light. The FZ1002 aims to provide a one-size-fits-all solution, yielding tons of versatility and excellent image quality, but without the bulk and hassle of an interchangeable lens camera and lenses. And without a bulky camera bag full of extra lenses, the idea is that you'll be able to get the shot in almost any shooting situation. Although it sports a new modestly restyled body with several new or redesigned controls, the Panasonic FZ1002 is largely the same camera as its predecessor in terms of its imaging pipeline. More of an incremental upgrade from the original FZ1000 than a complete overhaul, the sensor, processor and lens are the same. Touch sensitivity has been added to the screen's spec sheet, Bluetooth is now available as well as Wi-Fi, plus there have been some changes made to the button layout. It's one of the best Lumix cameras in the market, without a doubt. Number 4. Nikon Coolpix P950 – Best for Most People Moving on, we have the Nikon P950. Let's just call it a compact all-in-one which may well be the only camera you'll need thanks to a whopping 83x optical zoom with dual optical vibration reduction built into a focal length equivalent to 24 to 2000 mm in 35mm film terms. As well as a respectable f2.8 maximum aperture, the camera boasts the ability to shoot 4K video, plus supports the capture of RAW files, making it an option for the enthusiast who wants a big lens backup camera as much as the family user looking to tick all the boxes. The super zoom class is pretty small and refreshingly easy to navigate. Very simply, the more you pay, the more zoom you get, and the more likely it is that you'll get nice extras like OLED viewfinders, customizable controls, and superior video. A viewfinder is almost a necessity with this much zoom since supporting the camera with your face keeps it much steadier than holding it at arm's length to use the LCD screen. Point-and-shoot cameras tend to have shorter lifespans before becoming outdated, and the 16-megapixel sensor may outdate the P950 faster. But the camera launched at the start of 2020, so it should offer a few years of use. The zoom on the Nikon P950 is basically telescopic, making the camera ideal for photographing subjects that are typically far away, like birds, wildlife, or the moon. Number 3. Panasonic Lumix FZ80 – Best Mid-Range Option Another great camera is the Lumix FZ80. This camera has all the modern features that you might expect from a DSLR and it delivers them exceptionally well. It's versatile, easy to use and has great functionalities fitting the needs of even the most nitpicky users. This camera is packed with an 18 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor that's accompanied by the Venus Engine image processor that's done wonders. It has an ISO range that spans from 80 to 6400 and it has a 49-point autofocus performance with a contrast detect sensor. Video shooting is its most important feature though, as it shoots 4K video at 30 frames per second excellently. On top of that, it can shoot 10 FPS in RAW without a problem with a fast autofocus. I've used this camera for about three weeks before coming to a verdict and I can confirm it delivers ample fun. The 60x optical zoom was pretty interesting to use and at this price point I didn't expect it. Video shooting capabilities were excellent as well, and in good lighting conditions you can take professional level photographs without a doubt. If you want to get going with photography and want a simple but capable package, the Panasonic Lumix FZ80 is perfect for you. Number 2. Nikon Coolpix P1000 – Best Zoom Range Moving on, we have the Nikon Coolpix P1000, which is the definite best in this category. I think that with this camera, you'll get some super pleasant shots without much messing around. It has a superb lens that has a focal range that'll impress everyone, has 4K resolution video and RAW support, which its predecessor didn't have. 
This is a pretty hefty machine though, with a polycarbonate build that weighs around 1,415 grams, with a memory card and battery installed. It's not the best camera to take on your trips, but if you're serious about photography, it is a super solid choice. I have to say that the convenience and controls of the camera are pretty good despite it being large and heavy. The Contrast Detect autofocus system worked wonders on top of the settings packed in it. It also has face detect and target finding features, which are excellent picks for this beast. The manual focus mode is also perfect for enthusiast photographers. This beast shoots amazing photographs with its large enough sensor at 16 megapixels and its 4K video that presents pleasant results in different circumstances. Vibration reduction on its lens also makes the whole package much more feasible, a true beast in its category. Number 1. Sony Cybershot RX10 IV – Best High-End Camera This is a high-end option that renders the best bridge camera, but it's pretty expensive and not feasible for everyone out there. It's the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV. This has a perfect sensor, a great optical zoom range, and it's packed with enough features that'll impress even some DSLR users. Fast and packed with tons of performance, the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV can do it all. This small beast is based on a 20.1 megapixel Exmor RS 1-inch sensor that utilizes a stacked architecture. It also combines the features of the on-chip memory and image processing that implements high readout speeds in a great manner. I should state that the electronic shutter is super silent even at higher speeds and eliminates distortion from rolling shutter artifacts. I should note that this camera rocks a 315-point autofocus system that covers a large area of the frame with its high-density AF tracking developed by the manufacturer itself. I've tested this autofocus system in various instances with still and moving subjects. It just converted to real-life performance. I have to state that one of the major selling points of the Sony Cybershot RX10 IV is its continuous AF that works well for moving subjects and in videos as well. If you want details, color, and the best image quality coupled with speed, you should invest in this one without a doubt. Buying Guide Lens The lens is the second most important thing, especially with bridge cameras, since you won't be able to change it unlike in DSLR or mirrorless systems. For that reason, you should check out the quality of the lens and the zoom range of it. You'll see a lot of specifications regarding this, including the focal range, optical zoom, and digital zoom. The most important thing here is the focal range which should correspond with what you want to photograph and the optical zoom range, and here you'll see some super impressive options that'll leave you impressed. Optical Zoom Optical zoom is the ability of a camera to photograph a smaller area from a given point of view. Greater optical zoom lets you capture more details from distant subjects. This is important for certain subjects like wildlife and sports photography where you cannot easily get physically close to your subject. Optical zoom is actually a property of the lens, so it applies only to cameras with a fixed lens. It measures by how much closer the camera can zoom compared to its wider setting. For example, a 2 times optical zoom can make a subject appear twice as close. Megapixels Megapixels are a measure of resolution. With more megapixels, a camera can capture smaller details. This makes it possible to make larger prints without looking blurry. A few years ago, megapixels were the high mark for which cameras competed. Camera makers label their cameras with the maximum number of megapixels they can capture. For example, this is usually written as 18MP, with MP standing for megapixels. Specifically, a megapixel corresponds to roughly 1 million pixels. A pixel is a tiny dot from which all digital pictures and videos are composed.